one down here and I am doing a fitness and health update for you and this week I weighed in this morning at uh, two I had lost two ounces so it's I'm counting it as a loss uh, last week I was equal I hadn't lost or gained anything which was good uh, but this week I did get a uh, two ounce loss so I'm happy with that I haven't been tracking like I should be tracking because with this um, getting ready for the moving and trying to get the house fixed and uh, just getting ready for a yard sale I've got stuff packed up um, we got rained out today. We were supposed to have the yard sale today, but we got rained out, so it's postponed till next Saturday. I've been putting some items on um, Facebook Marketplace, and they're selling. I've got a couple people coming today to pick up some of the larger items um, that I'm not going to carry to the yard sale unless I have to. I'm going to try to sell them first. I've already sold a bed with a mattress, uh, a flute, a guitar. I have somebody coming to get a desk and chair today. Um, have somebody coming to get a, a oriental screen today. Um, and then I got somebody asking for one of the bikes. The boys each had bikes and they don't want them. So I'm, I'm selling the bikes and an aquarium and some sleeping bags and you name it. I've got it listed and um, I am getting inquiries on some of the items and I have sold some of the items so I'm gonna uh, be ahead uh, when it comes to the yard sale um, just gonna save all these dollars that I'm I'm, uh, I'm getting here and put them towards the move and uh, I'll give you an update on all of that later so um, my article today and once I get through this and get settled back down, I'll start tracking again. I know that I will. Um, I've just, I, I just, my, I'm, I'm excited. I'm stressed out. I'm anxious. I'm everything in one trying to get everything done. So um, I'll, I'll talk to you more about that on another video. Because today I want this video to be about the health and fitness. So the uh, article I have today is six foods that could be killing you and it may be stuff that you wouldn't even realize. I just was reading through this and it's like, huh, I never would have thought. So we're going to start out and I am, of course, looking at my laptop because this article is from thinkhealthier.com and it comes in my email and uh, if I say an article that I think y'all would enjoy me sharing, I share it with you. So it says the first thing um, that m is not as good for you as you think it might be is bottled, sa bottled salad dressing. And uh, we all know that uh, salads are good for you. Vegetables are really good for you. But it's saying that salad dressings, um, even if they're reduced fat, they're um, loaded with sugar and high fructose corn syrup or artificial flavors or colorings. Um, it's saying you should skip those, even the fat-free ones or the um, ones that are low-fat and opt for like a balsamic vinegar or an extra virgin olive oil or make your own homemade dressing because it, it's healthier for you. So I see, I always think when it says fat-free or, or low-fat that it's healthy, but you really got to read the ingredients and what's in it and know what is good for you and what's not, I guess because um, I would never have thought a low-fat salad dressing wouldn't be good for you. The next thing it's saying is uh, canned tomato sauce. And they're saying canned tomato sauce is loaded with sugar. And I've always known that tomato sauce is, is pretty loaded with sugar. So even you can get the sodium-free or the low-sodium, but you got to watch out for the sugar. Um, what I do is we make our own spaghetti sauce and I know it may be more expensive to make it when you got to buy the tomatoes and process it and do all that yourself and I've had people comment and say well isn't that more expensive well yeah it maybe it is but it's fresher and I don't add sugar to mine so it's sugar free it's totally sugar free so um, and I don't put any artificial things in it I just put garlic and onion and green peppers that are all fresh and uh, I may put some spices in it that aren't fresh um, like parsley or oregano or whatever um, I don't use uh, fresh parsley and stuff um, although I could but um, I do know that it it uh, I don't put sugar in it so 
so it is healthier even though it may cost us a little more in in buying the fresh ingredients and then making it ourselves our plan is to have our own garden at the new place and hopefully you know it won't won't be this year because we won't be moving in in time but next year we, to to hopefully plant a garden and be able to have some of our own fresh vegetables instead of having to buy everything um, so canned tomato sauce is the number two thing that they say is not good for you um, because of the sugar in it number three is sports drinks and you know we all think that um, the electrolytes and everything that you need in a sports drink it would be good for you but they're saying unless you're working out for an hour in a gym or you're a bodybuilder or you know you've just done a serious workout um, and your body is needing the electrolytes and stuff that it is not good for you it's better that you drink just plain water um, so it says it contains um, Gatorade contains more than 30 grams of sugar which is more than the American Heart Association recommends daily intake of 25 grams so the sports drinks do have um, a lot of electrolytes and a lot of sugar in them and I mean if you're burning that you're you're working out and you're burning it it's fine but uh, if you're not then stay away from those drinks and drink water I drink a lot of water the next thing it's talking about is agave nectar they're saying agave nectar is not good for you um, it's used in a lot of sugar substitutes and you think by substituting sugar for something else it may be healthier but they're saying that it is not um, it says the risks the risk associated with high sugar intake have less to do with their like gly glycemic index and more to do with the high levels of fructose which can lead to problems with fatty liver disease and type 2 diabetes while regular sugar contains around 50% fructose, aguave contains around 90% fructose, making it potentially worse for you than refined sugar. So keep that in mind if you are using products with agave nectar in them, that um, it, you are in risk of uh, fatty liver disease and type 2 diabetes. So if you have diabetes in your family, that's a uh, food you probably want to avoid the next thing it's talking about and this kind of shocked me a little bit is margarine it's talking about the difference between margarine and butter and um, studies have shown it says that margarine which is created with highly processed plant-based oils are still loaded with trans fat or saturated um, hydrogen hydrogenated oils meaning that they are still putting you at risk of an increase in bad cholesterol which can lead to heart disease and stroke so it's saying instead of butter try using um, mashed avocado or spiced extra virgin olive oil which I wouldn't mind the spiced extra virgin olive oil but I the avocado the only way I can eat avocado is in guacamole because it's mixed with stuff I can't eat it by itself even if it's mashed so I'm not sure that avocado wouldn't work for me um, extra virgin olive oil may work for me but I don't use a lot of margarine anyway because I don't eat bread so it's not like I'm putting margarine on bread or toast or anything like that but I do use it a little bit in cooking and I don't use a lot of butter um in cooking and i don't bake a lot either but uh, like macaroni and cheese you're making macaroni and cheese i throw you know maybe a tablespoon of margarine in it which i don't think is enough to um to bother me if that's all the margarine i'm eating during the week um to eat a little bit of margarine in, in macaroni or something i'm cooking but um if you are one to eat a lot then you may want to double think that um and then the last thing let me flip over to the next page here is talking about gluten things that are gluten free and they're saying that most people think gluten free and that's the way the world is going now is a, most a lot of people are eating gluten free because they think it's better for them but um, they're saying that it may not be uh, it's saying they claim 
Uh, an interest in cutting back on gluten and going gluten free as a result. Our favorite food manufacturers have kept up with the times and offered their gluten free line of products. Um, the biggest issue with this marketing is that these healthy foods aren't healthy at all. Instead of uh, being made with gluten grains, they're made with other products like potato starch and tapioca, which typically are highly, highly refined and can spike blood sugar in the same way processed wheat can. So it's saying they still, depending on what gluten-free, what product they're using to, to make it gluten-free, um, it can still uh, put you at risk of blood sugar issues. So the alternative they're saying is some foods are naturally gluten-free like meats and vegetables. However, doing your homework before embarking on a gluten-free diet is the key. In most cases, products that are marketed as gluten-free on their packaging may be bad for you. So, so read what's the ingredients and make sure that you really know what's in it before you buy it if you are trying to stay healthy. Um, so that's what I have for today. There's the six products that are bad for you that you might not know are bad for you. Um, hope that the article has helped you out as much as it's helped me out. I, I do like to eat gluten free and it's not because of the sugars and stuff. Um, it's digestion reasons, but um, it's something to think about. So thank you all for watching i hope you've had a good week in weight loss and fitness um like i said i haven't been tracking this week i haven't been exercising this week but i haven't been sitting either i've been working on this house so um we will have an update on that coming up very shortly um we're progressing along i'm i'm happy with where we are right now and um Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being a subscriber. And if you're not and you want to, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, follow us on our journey in moving and my journey in weight loss and just our adventures that we love to share with everybody. Um, give us a thumbs up and I'll catch you all on the next video. Y'all have a wonderful weekend.